Hi everyone, Sean here, and what a week it's been. First up, the world's largest alternative investment firm, Blackstone, will triple down at 601 Lexington and lease another 200,000 square feet at the iconic Midtown property. This expansion follows Blackstone's recent disclosure that they'll be gobbling up upwards of 1.5 million square feet of space somewhere in New York City to support all those employees scrambling to return to the office. Next up, an apple a day will not keep the doctor away from expanding into pockets of New York City retail areas with healthcare companies now combing the streets for choice retail locations. And a number of big apple landlords are increasingly willing to swallow that bitter pill and consider consider healthcare service providers a once less desired tenant group to fill their vacant spaces in order to just stop the bleeding. Surprisingly, medical uses were the sixth most active retail tenant group in the first quarter of 2022, leasing a total of 30,000 square feet over seven different retail trends. Last up, Federal Reserve Jerome Powell announced on Thursday that the cost of doing business, especially for retail investors, may be increasing far more rapidly than planned. In fact, the upcoming interest rate hike may be as extreme as 50 basis points to combat the highest inflation seen in over four decades. So what does this mean for our day-to-day -day when we need to just go out and buy milk? Well, bring home more bacon. But if you're a real estate investor on the hunt for property, get ready for that monthly debt load cost to just keep rising upward. Dropping a load may just start to take on a whole new meaning. This is Sean Black signing off from New York, and we'll see you next week on What A Week.